so now, alright, according to the guide, which I have right here. <laughs> you're going to Varuna Castle. Uh, alright. Varuna Castle is... City. City? Castle? Alright, no. Yeah. Well, it's not so much a city, it's just the castle, right? Is there? There's nothing else surrounding it. Okay, so let's talk to the guard on the left. This, this uh, husky little, uh, this husky guard over here. What? 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 Is that really a cow princess autograph? Yes. Oh man, you're so lucky. Could you let me have it, please? Oh, I'm begging you, you gotta let me have you. You're the guys that threw me into jail, so oh, I'm begging you, please. Take it. <sighs> Offer a sword. You will? Oh, thanks. I'll never forget this. Take this vanilla wafer and return. That's... Wait, I want to see what that looks like. If it's just like an actual, just a, one of those cheap wafers that they sell. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, it is. God damn it. Alright, well. Okay, then next is... Eden Village. We have to go all the way out to that island over there. I think I remember it. Uh, is this Eden Village? No, that's Barca Medusa. Is this Eden Village? Yes, it is. And then now, let's. Where's that old man? Come here! Like, here's the thing, like, they don't clue you in on how you're supposed to get the sword. It's just like, yeah, figure it out, you're on your own. Seven, like, we're free. I haven't had one in about 20 years. I just had one, like, a few months ago. You mean it? I can have the, van I can have the vanilla wafer? You made me a happy old man. Yep, there you go. And then... What? What's this? That's funny. My goo goo bird really hates strangers. Looks like she likes you. We're welcome to take her with you if you fancy. Foot got the goo goo bird. Amazing. You know what? Honestly, I think I deserve this. I think I deserve, like, just to chill a little bit. Um. Because, like, this is basically, like, towards the end of the game. I went the wrong way. Damn it. Alright. No, did I? Right, let's, uh, let's see. Let's see where this leads to. No, this could lead me back to the fucking ruins. Hold on. At least I still remember. Because our next stop is Guava Town. Is this it? This should be it, right? Yeah, that's it. Alright, uh, Guava Town should be here. Right, no, no. Uh, Dead Isaac and Guava. And our next stop here in Guava should be the shopkeeper. And I honestly, like, uh, uh, yeah, that's it, okay. Wait, I'm curious, before we continue, I want to see, like, we have eight. I want to see, like, how many more we need. I doubt we'll be able to finish this with this, uh, this playthrough. Yes, yes, I did. You found eight? How wonderful. I still need six, damn it. That's a lot. Yeah, there's no way. Yeah, there's just no way. Yeah, we're just getting the sword. At least, like, the sword is accessible. For the shield, um, I have to earn 30,000 points from Dead Isaacs. Like, no thanks. Like, <laughs> It's a good game, it's not like... It's a good mini-game, it's... It's, a, it's nice to waste time with it, but... 
it takes up like it takes up a resource that drops randomly right so like what I should have been doing is like building it up like and then and, uh, like a surplus of it is this the yeah the, this is the shop yeah I should have been building a surplus of it At the same time like the only way to get to 30,000 would be like to be super uh, efficient with that minigame all right that's the goo goo bird oh it's sitting on my head yeah <laughs> it looks good. it's a good look for you shucks it's taking a shine to me i've always had this funny way with animals you know um if it's okay with you we'd love to take this little fella home with me how about it yeah sure <laughs> really you mean it oh thank you it's a what a goo goo bird i promise i'll take good care of him I'd really like to give you something to express my thanks. Here, take this. It'll serve you well. And there's the crimson cape. All right, and this should be the last item before uh, before we get to the um, wait. I think yeah, this should be the item that'll. Um, sorry, uh, yeah, this is the item we need for the sword, like, yeah. After this, we're gonna go straight to, uh, castle. Honestly, like, that boss fight, uh, Red Fang, I think, uh, wait, go, yeah, where do we do so? I honestly thought like maybe I should just like use one of the summons for uh for um using one of the uh the elemental rings that I got like one of those big time summons I doubt it would work but it's something that I thought about out of my way all right let's go here Because right now, we are going to Melina's mansion. Now my only issue is, I don't know where he's located, so... This is gonna be a little... Uh... Yeah, I may have to search a little bit more with this. Hopefully not too long. I guess technically I am now an unofficial pirate. Let's hope like Melina's back in here. But hey, like good on this game for like awarding. Oh, there we are. Oh, they're here. <laughs> right, I didn't have to look very far. But yeah, good on this game for allowing us to uh, explore a little bit. Nani, you're giving this crimson cape to me. Happy Father's Day! Here, take this, and please, go. Flint got the rising sword! There you go, and that is our... This is the best sword in the game. Flint equips the ri rising sword. Uh, what, what does it look like? Uh, I, well, I can't swing it here, well, screw that. Um... No, I can't. I can't swing it here either. Um, oop, no, 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 no. That's not it. That's not it. Um, mm, doesn't say anything here. So yeah, forget it. Well, we'll give it a we'll give it a run when uh when we're uh, I guess at the next dungeon so what we're gonna do now again then my apologies if this is a it's just like bad habit of mine i don't know it's just a habit i guess i just if honestly if this game had an auto save feature i wouldn't be doing this at all and then again I, i'd still be doing manual saves but yeah i like i prefer to save as much as possible
Okay, let's go to our dragon over here. Now, what I'm wondering though is, um, do the shops also do they also update? Do they get better items over time? We'll find out. Well, I guess we'll find that out in just a little bit. No, I think you are the shopkeeper. Yes. Totally destroyed my shop. It's okay. Yeah. What you got? Uh huh. There we go. Got five. I will take five of this and two of this. I guess four of this. Just. Oh no, I don't have enough. Um, is there anything I could sell? Hmm. Alright, yeah, let's... Uh, hmm. And we'll buy her just because I have... Oh, nine. Nine is the maximum I could stock up on these. Okay, that's fine. Then I forget it. Yep, alright. Man, what a relief. I don't know about you folks, like... For, like, towards the end, like... A lot, there are, like, a lot of RPGs that I've enjoyed. And one of the common things among those RPGs is that... They all have, like, big endgame content. Like, the whole world just opens up. And that I'm such a big fan of that, that, that sort of thing. Oh, hey, we're at 20 hours. Like, um, like the Final Fantasy series, of course. Um, I love 9. 9 is like a big favorite of mine. And I have to heal somewhere, right? Where do I heal? I've been going. <laughs> Fuck. Alright, um. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, we're not. Look, forget it. We're, we're going to Verona Castle. But yeah, like. For, for 9, yes, I, I love that game, but the end game for 9 is just as good, although I have to play it on mute, since the sound, like the open world, like the overworld um, music is just awesome from discs, uh, from the first discs, but like the last disc, like, it's a new, it's a different, uh, I'm sorry, it's a different it's a different background music that they're using for the end of the world and it's a lot more depressing sounding I guess it's not as ah uh, damn what's the word okay where's the healing uh, the healing circle here I know there is one here if not I'm just gonna continue forward uh, and then here nope all right, oh, we're, we're kind of stuck with this, and with this kind of health. Yep, we're going back. But yeah, like, that's only my, that's my only problem with FF9, is that it makes me sad. Endgame sounds, like, really sad for me. <laughs> it's a great game. I don't know if I'll play it on this channel, probably not, just to preserve like that experience um although i might try another like jrpg just not after this show it to me at once you release the princess first it's only fair yeah see yeah you know ruby best girl best girl in the whole uh, game she's right baron should i pull this like who is best girl in the linda 2 ruby Option A, Ruby. Option B, <laughs> Ruby. She's right, Baron. It's what you promised. Oh, very well. Bring out the princess. But before that, I want to make sure, make certain that the three-eyed idol is genuine. And how do we do that? I didn't want this to get out. But now that we've come this far, I may as well. 
and will let you all witness the treasure of Varuna, which has been sealed away for thousands of years. Follow me. Fine. <laughs> and the princess is right there, tied up, and she's walking along with us. That's great. Life, my friends, is very precious. Precious because you live to learn. This wall says that the three relics must be placed in their proper locations. If the relics are real, my dreams become reality. Now, my boy, set the three-eyed idol here. That's a mouthful. There. Now go set the remaining two relics and we shall see whether you're genuine or not. Fine. Uh, oh, I have to do it manually. Well, wait, uh, wait. Um. See, see, Ruby is best girl. <laughs> Ruby is legitimately best girl. Um, like how many do I need? Uh, um. Alright, yeah, we're, I have topped off at 9, that's fine. How about you, Natasha? How could Dad use me as a hostage? I can't believe it. It's all because of that woman. Well, how about you? Don't under underestimate us pirates, we're a hardy bunch. And you? Hey, don't worry, Flint, leave her to us. Okay, uh, wait. Now hurry up. Wait, you want me to go? What? Hold on. Oh, fantastic. Ah, there you go. Um. Wait, where do I go? Is it? Is this it? Oh, that's another. X is that entrance exit? I don't know. Uh, how about this? Where are you going? If you're on to become the poor princess. All right. So, uh, fine. Uh. This feels like a trap. Okay, there is our portal. Honestly curious what that wish is. And we honestly haven't taken out the new sword for a spin. So yeah, that's something to look forward to. Let's go. Oh, it's a dungeon. Okay, okay, okay. I get it. I get it now. All right. Mm. <laughs> All right. I can do this. Ow. Ten. Oh. Oh. So, uh, you want me to, to get good? You want me to get good? Alright, I get it. Alright, I see you. I see you. Alright, let's, uh... Oh, there we go. <laughs> Damn it. Alright, that was super lucky. Alright, uh... Do I make a run for it? Alright, let's, uh, there we go. I'm not jumping there. Um, yeah, let's go here. Uh-huh. Okay, uh, can I, I can't, nope, nope, door won't budge, so I, I actually, ah, <sighs> damn, alright, I need to go through here then. Alright, so, yeah, looking at this uh, next chapter, I didn't actually read the guide in depth. I just, like, looked at the chapter, like, how he named it, and he just calls this the Nightmare Dungeon, which is fair. 
it's appropriate. But there has to be a way for me to get through there, right? Like, how? Okay, door won't budge. Yeah, there it is. Alright, yeah, there's something up with this. Hey you, you made it to the end of the video. Good job! Well, a better job than what I've been doing. If you'd like more disappointment, check out these links. This is so